Hi, Neil Sean here. Now, on today's short film, I thought I'd take you behind the scenes and share some memories of this beautiful West End theatre, the Wyndhams, in the heart of London's Leicester Square. It's strange, really, because where it's placed is, of course, traditionally theatre land, but across the road is the London Hippodrome, the one time, of course, home of variety. Today, this theatre is the home of the Starry Messenger, and we were lucky enough to meet its star, Matthew Broderick, recently. So I took that opportunity to have a sneak peek round and take you behind the scenes, reliving some of the wonderful memories, some of the stars, and more importantly, hopefully, you'll get to learn a little bit more about one of London's most prestigious venues. Here is a brilliant and wonderful Victoria Palace Theatre in 1960 when it was playing host to the very talented Crazy Gang. Now of course the Windmill Theatre has many affections for many and sadly is not going as a theatre but could currently reopen as some kind of brand new nightclub. Who could forget the brilliant Hippodrome on Leicester Square corner? It's still going today but this time as a very palatial casino and definitely well worth a visit. The Criterion has played host to many stars and of course the Prince of Wales is currently home to the Book of Mormon. So the Wyndham's Theatre opened in 1899 to great success and what was interesting particularly with this theatre was the actor-manager Charles Wyndham was the brainchild behind it. He was very passionate and also very forward-thinking when you think because not only was he the actor but of course he owned the theatre too, meaning he could put on his own productions. The very first production, which was a huge success, was David Garrick, and that ensured future successes, including plays by the one and only, the very brilliant Mr Noel Cowley. But I only wrote a few weeks ago, and it was inspired by the dangerous and difficult years through which we are all living. And I do hope that the strong moral tone of it will not unduly oppress you. Life today is hectic. Our world is running away. Now, when you talk about British theatre, there are very few people that you can just say the word of their first name and you truly know. Well, we're talking about Noel, Sir Noel Coward, of course. Now, Noel Coward enjoyed huge success here in 1936 with a French play called Mademoiselle. But it wasn't just Noel who enjoyed success. Many others, of course, came here and encountered many, many successes. However, there was one play a few years ago, The King's Speech, based on a movie starring Colin Firth, which was deemed to be box office gold. Sadly though, after a couple of months, it closed very early, making people think, is it really just musical theatre that can actually make money? Finally though, we can tell you, those fortunes did reverse, and plays like The Star and Messenger are booking the trend. love about traditional West End theatres are, it's not just that you're going to see a wonderful production, but also when you go into a traditional theatre that's over a hundred years old, you can really take in the beautiful architecture as you see now, the boxes, the stalls, just the whole smell of it reeks of theatrical history. Now one of my favourite musicals actually was Godspell and that played here to amazing success, starring of course 70s pop icon David Essex.
but one of the most recent successes was Alan Bennett's The History Boys and the cast itself was very stellar and they've all gone on to other things, glittering successes. If you don't believe me, just take a look at James Corden, currently wowing the crowd nightly for CBS's chat show Worldwide. That truly all started in this theatre. If you've enjoyed this short film today, don't forget to like and share with the buttons below. And I hope you've enjoyed our look back at the Wyndham's Theatre. I'm Neil Shaw, I'll see you next time.